Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. Today I have in front of me the Pelican Twist. Pelican is famous for their piston fillers, but recently they have branched out to reach a wider scope, if you will, of writers by creating less expensive fountain pens, fashion more for those in the beginning stages of writing with fountain pens. I believe it's their goal to groom the writer on the proper way to grip the fountain pen early by creating muscle memory. With the Pelican Twist, the name is just as it says. It, it has a twisted symmetry to it that I think is interesting to look at. The cap has the uh, Pelican Swan that we all know that is the company. The barrel has some kind of a non polygon type shape to it and it nicely has pelican and germany etched very or imprinted very very small into that which is a nice touch i noticed that they have pelican nicely imprinted into the body of this fountain pen and speaking of the body of this fountain pen the color is what uh, captured me also because I love the color purple this it says it's a mystic shine and that is just an absolutely beautiful beautiful color this body is made of plastic there is a horrible horrible scratch that uh, I had the misfortune to get on my lovely fountain pen here, but the body is still a beautiful looking body. This is a snap cap, so you basically line it up, you snap it. Now, the thing about this Pelican Twist is that just like Lamy's, they do have the grip section, which this grip section is made out of a rubberish type plastic. But just like the Lamy's here, you must hold this in a certain way in order to write with it. There, It's really quite unforgiving how you have to hold it as compared to the Lamy, which is a little more forgiven. It's not as I would say pronounced. Let's put this here. But if you look at that, you can see, let's see if we can line this up. You can definitely see the difference in how you must write with this fountain pen. I also notice on the nib, which uh, the Pelican is a stainless steel, the nibs kind of look alike in a way, but just like if you're, if you love Lamy's, then you really won't have any problem with the Pelican Twist. But if you don't like Lamy's, you definitely will have a problem with the Pelican Twist. You will have to hold your grip in the uh, writing that is basically the accepted writing in reference to holding the fountain pen. But as we grow older, we, we switch how we want to write. We switch how what's more comfortable for us to write with on our fountain pens. So in reference to this, uh, you must write with a certain way. I did get a little, my hand did get a little tired in reference to in the beginning, but I noticed that the more I wrote, the more uh, relaxed my wrist were and my hand. So I think that with a little, with with writing, you will basically become, uh, you, you'll get used to it or acclimated to it, if you will. Uh, I do have um, an Edelstein, Pelican Edelstein uh, cartridge in here. I believe that you can get, um, this will take, short and long uh, cartridges. I don't believe they are proprietary in reference to the cartridges, but the converter, I'm not so sure. I think that maybe they are proprietary on their converters, but I, I'm really not for sure in reference to that. But I love how this just lines up and there we go. It just snaps right into place. Now this, I've seen some that say that this is not a postable fountain pen. And if you put, if you line up the grooves in a certain way, then they won't post, but it will post if you do um, line it 
in a certain you have to twist or uh, try to connect in different ways uh, if it you can't get it to post with that one uh, lineup then basically you turn it another way and then you turn it another way until you can't get it to post but once you have it posted it it posts just fine this is a postable fountain pen, so there should be no problem in reference to it. It is a light fountain pen, but I don't think that you'll have any problem with it being posted or writing with it not posted. So basically, oops, there we go. And that, that wasn't lined up. Okay, I don't think that you'll have problems with it posted or with it not posted. That it just, it just, it's very pretty when it is posted there we go okay all right when we come back we will write with our lovely pelican twist okay we're back with our pelican twist and we're going to put the cap right there in front of us i've noticed that in reference to this particular fountain pen i've only found medium nibs i haven't found any other size other than the medium nibs so i don't know if that's all they offer for this uh for the pelican twist and they may, may offer other sizes for other um non-piston filler fountain pens it does have a, a lamy looking nib to it to me but maybe that's just a coincidence the ink that i have is the edelstein uh sapphire which is just a beautiful beautiful color and we're just going to do a quick writing sample here with the medium nib and like i said you have to hold it in a particular way very smooth writing though Over the lazy dog. This is, it does look like a true medium. Semi wet. It does keep up with fast writing. There was a little skip there, but that was me. I lifted off of the paper. There's no line variation. I think you will enjoy writing with this fountain pen once you get a little used to writing with that, um, I wanna say basically a structured, the structured section. But if you can get past that, I think that you'll have a very lovely and very uh, affordable fountain pen. This fountain pen was under $25 and I, and it, it, it's a great writer. Pelican is a great, uh, fountain pen maker anyway. So this is no exception. Okay. Thank you for watching writer always write and God bless.